good day. Today is Friday the 27th of October and it's a beautiful day, cool. I just got back from um, vacation with my sister um, late last night and um, it was tough getting back to cool weather again. We were in uh, a nice warm climate and it was 80 in the 80s every day and 70s at night for the last 10 days and it was tough getting back to this but here we are. And um, it was really relaxing. I, I had the luxury of doing a lot of reading, which I don't have here because I don't have time. By the time I get home in the evening, I don't feel like it. But anyway, it's, it's really a, it was a wonderful vacation, very relaxing, swimming in the pool every day, and, um, and um, there's money on the beach almost every day, too. It was just wonderful. Everybody needs a break once in a while. Well, tomorrow we have the funeral for Annette Sear, very simple, quiet person, um, really an authentic person, I should say, too, who really lived her life openly a vegetarian and kind of was really one with nature. And um, it's, it's a joy to be able to celebrate her life tomorrow with our parish community. Many of you probably were contemporaries of hers. She was only in her 60s, and it was unfortunate she died of cancer so quickly, but tomorrow we have the celebration of her life at 10 o'clock in the cathedral, and you, anybody welcome to come. Sunday, this coming Sunday, um, we have the uh, homily, oh, I'm going to preach rather, on the annual Catholic appeal. And um, it's something that you all know about, and I've talked about it many times before, but you know, only a small percentage, less than 20% of our people actually actively participate in it. This year, I'm asking everybody in the parish to do something. If you can only give a dollar, or if you only give $10, or whatever, 100 or 20000 or whatever you can give, um, please participate. That's important, because it's an opportunity for us to have a share in the mission of our bishop and the mission of the diocese. And there's so many things that are supported by this. Seminary education, partially, by the way, education of our kids in religious education classes, Catholic schools, the diaconate program, outreach to needy families in our community, our community of our diocese. All these things are so important, and it enables our bishop to carry out his mission of taking care of the people assigned to him in the central seven counties of uh, Washington. So I'm going to ask you Sunday, I'm just kind of warning you, I'm going to ask everyone in the parish to take part in this. Don't um, back off, but really get with it and take a part in it. It's really important that each person, because we're members of not only the local parish, our parish of St. Paul Cathedral, but of the greatest church, the Diocese of Yakima. So no matter how small is your gift, the main thing is you participate in some way in this great um, effort, the annual Catholic appeal. Tuesday is the vigil of, uh, of all saints, Halloween, as you know, and there's a, a special celebration that we're arranging at 5.30 uh, in the evening, evening mass, uh, bilingual, and the, following the mass, there will be a truck or treat over in the um, cafeteria, um, in the gym, in the, the, gym, the gym, and yeah. um, also a, a costume on a judge case, you know, judgment where there'll be prizes given for the most inventive customs uh, and inventive um, imitation of a saint. Um, it'll be a fiesta, good food, a lot of music. So come on, it's five thirty Tuesday evening. It's kind of a break in the, getting a cold weather time here, and it's a good break. So come on over and join us. Tuesday, Wednesday is the Holy Day, but this Mass, of course, is the vigil and it suffices for the Holy Day, All Saints Day. Wednesday is All Saints Day. Masses are at 7 in the morning, 12.07, and 7 in the evening. And um, I hope your the, the bilingual one will be on, on Tuesday evening at 5.30, but the other three Masses will be offered in our cathedral on the Holy Day. The next day, a Thursday, is All Souls Day, the Day of the Dead. And um, 
Today we remember all those who have died and our families and friends and neighbors in our parish community, people that we have known for even a small time or a lengthy time. But it's an opportunity to remember them, to celebrate their lives, and to um, honor them. And so that's, that's on um, Thursday. And Masses will be at 8 o'clock in the morning at 12.07 again and at 7 in the evening, which will be bilingual. And the envelopes, by the way, for placed on the altar are in the pews today, uh, this Sunday, I should say, uh, for your convenience. And um, we ask you to take them and to make them out and then to return them to our, uh, the cathedral in the collection or just at the office. And we'll place them on the altar that we remembered all the deceased, your family and friends, remember, remember that all Masses celebrated during the month of All Souls, the month of November. So those envelopes are in the pews t this weekend. Also, um, we have an altar of the dead, as you know, which has been our custom for many, many years. And it's in the baptistry area of the uh, cathedral. We ask you to bring pictures of those that you want remembered, it's a kind of reminder to us of whom to pray for and also um, reminds you of everybody else in the parish to of your deceased families and friends. So drop off your picture there. If I ask you a favor, though, please put a uh, telephone number on the back of the picture somehow or other, back of the frame, so we can call you in case you forget to pick it up at the end of the month. We want to make sure you get your pictures back. So the altar of the dead will be, um, is, is set up for you this weekend. You can bring your pictures of your, all your deceased friends and families to place there on an altar. Friday, there's a concert by the Yakima Symphony Chorus, a beautiful concert of classical and s sacred music uh, at 7 o'clock. Um, the recommended donation is $20, but it's a donation, it's not a, a ticket price. So you feel free to come. It's our cathedral. It's a way that they are saying thank you for the use of the cathedral. They have every the chapel every week uh, during the year to plan for their um, concerts, not only here once every couple of years, but at the um, usual in the year with the Akaba Symphony Orchestra. Beautiful chorus, and um, they do marvelous work. In fact, I can't more highly recommend the uh, uh, symphony that I've already done in the past. It's really a, a treasure that we have in our community, and I hope maybe it will inspire many of you, if you don't have tickets yet, to get tickets for this series, the Yakima Symphony series, one of them, um, as soon as you can. Because it's a wonderful treasure we have in our community, and unfortunately, since the... Um, pandemic uh, attendance has really been down at those symphony concerts. Don't be afraid to come and get, get your shots, um, prevention, COVID shots and all that, the latest things, and come on and join us in the um, great concert they're going to give Friday night, 7 o'clock, here in our cathedral. Don't forget, a week from Sunday, on the 5th, is our uh, it's, it's, it's a um, daylight saving time gets over. So you got to fall back. You got to turn your clock back one hour. And you make up for that hour you lost back in March or whatever it was, or April, whenever daylight saving time started. Um, but don't forget, otherwise you're going to be really off kilter when it comes to making the arrangements for Sunday next week or, or the weekend activities. So we turn our clock back on Saturday night, or Sunday morning actually, at 2 o'clock. And um, so we won't be out of touch with the rest of the world. Um, let's see what else. In November, we also have a Mass for our deceased priests, but it's not till the 21st of November. November, And uh, it will be celebrated at 530 at our cathedral. We remember all the priests and deacons, all the, all the ordained people who have served our diocese since its founding in, uh, in um, 1951. 
there's more deceased priests now than there are priests who are active. It's a kind of an interesting, I mean, you look at an interesting record to look at when we as assemble all those names together. So we do ask you, come and remember us, remember our brother priests who have served us, you, for the last many, many years. And um, that Mass will be, as we said, on, on Tuesday, the 21st of November, just before Thanksgiving, at 5.30 in our cathedral. Um, there's nothing special going on in the parish. We do have, we're struggling, and we're, we're doing, they're doing a great job, our religious education people, to have our classes under trying circumstances. As you know, we have no... Um, yet, we have no, uh, not the use of the whole building, we have the use only of the gym and the um, our cafeteria. And so it's difficult to have all the classes in the parents meet actually in the chapel, and all the classes are going on. And, um, but we do encourage you to be supportive of this. As you well know, our building is being restored. And um, the, the school building will be able to use it hopefully soon. I don't know how long it's going to take. They have to. They, they are in the process right now of replacing the plumbing in the building, and also making necessary repairs. We're also a very conscious effort would be made to to be um, very careful about the environment, and so we're having new windows put in on the south side of the building. Um, where the sun shines all day, so we don't have to waste so much money in air conditioning. The windows are tempered glass, so that they're and they're tinted glass, so that they reflect the sunlight and not let it in that the heat in so much. As it has been a problem over the many years, the school's been here, the school building's been here. Our religious education people and RCIA and funeral luncheon people, myself and staff here. How, how do you wait to get back um, to the use of that whole building? Sean's frothing at the bit here, waiting to get back. She can have his life team back in, the, in their own room upstairs. Well, we're, we're working on it, but it's taking an awful long time. As you know, after the first of the year, I'm going to ask you to make really a, a sacrificial gift to the parish for the restoration of our school building. Um, we're also going to paint, we need to paint the cathedral outside and in um, and um, do some extra work around the area to preserve this great treasure that we have of, of beautiful of buildings and very utilitarian buildings. Uh, we don't want to leave anybody out, but we do, there's some work that has to be done. So I didn't expect that when I get this long here in the parish community and as pastor, I'd be stuck with. <laughs> having to raise um, millions of dollars to restore this place. But it's something that has to be done. We have to face up to it. But you'll get hear more of that after the first of the year. In the meantime, I thank you for your continued cooperation and support of our parish community. And I pray for all of you that your life might be blessed and you might be preserved from danger and from sickness. It's my pleasure and privilege to ask God to bless you. May God the Father bless you and God the Son heal you and keep you safe and God the Holy Spirit enlighten you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.